welcome to the second edition of Dorney's Derricks. This week we have London born and bred superstar, Tony Club. Tony, how was the uh, last weekend's game in Wigan, mate? Yeah, well, good. It was a tough game. Um, thought we should have come away with the win, really, but um, good game nonetheless. Now, you're a centre by trade as you came through as a young, skinny fellow coming from the south of England. <laughs> uh, how have you found your, your way moving into the forwards? I believe you're playing prop now. How have you found the, the challenge? Yeah, it's um, been pretty tough, but uh, I've enjoyed it nonetheless. But, um, yeah, I think that's uh, where I've been staying for a long time. For a bit, so I'll enjoy it nonetheless. <laughs> Do you want to get number eight for next year? Is that your goal? <laughs> ten or eight, yeah, that'll do. That'll what would do. you prefer? Well, I prefer thirteen to play at thirteen, but uh, ten or eight will do. Ten, no, not too bad. Yeah, ten, yeah, ten, ten, ten for next year. Yeah. Now we've got a game on the road this year down in Gilliam. Now I have been told by staff at the club, is it true you have you need five hundred tickets? Pretty much, yeah, pretty much. I've um, I've got uncles, aunties, cousins, nieces. Missus family, she's got uncles, aunties, so you're gonna need a lot. Gonna need a lot, a lot of people, eh? Lot. Are you looking forward to playing the game down there? I am, mate. It's um, it's the first chance that uh, my granddad and a few others are gonna come out and see me play. So um, yeah, I'm buzzed about it. How do you think? How do you think the crowd will respond to playing a game down there? Is there good good support for London down there? Yeah, massively. I know uh, Medway are doing really well down there at the minute. So um, there's some great young kids coming through there too. So I'm sure the fan base will be great. How are you surviving down at London without you, your very close friend Danny Ward lately? Has, has it been a big burden off you and, and without Louis as well, you must feel a bit lonesome? Yeah, no, I'm, I'm pretty happy they're gone to be honest. They um, used to get me in a lot of trouble. So, uh, but I still speak to them a lot and um, I've, uh, I'm seeing Louis in the next couple of weeks, but that's enough for me. Just to... Now you live out near Chris Melling. Is it true you requested to be in different ways so you didn't have to travel with him? In yeah, the pretty much, because he absolutely bores me to death. So they don't call him sleeping tablet for nothing. So he's so <laughs> I, won't, I won't travel with Chris Melling. I won't share rooms with him or anything. So yeah, I've, I've swapped ways, but not to be nowhere near him. Now you have made the move into the forwards. Is an obviously an aspiration you need an England player? Would you prefer, would you like to to play in the middle? for the England team? Yeah, one day I'd love to. Um, I got the chance to play out there in centre and I played I played back row for for England back when I played at France there, but um, I'd love to have another crack at it and um, against maybe Aussies or the New Zealanders there, so it'd be a good test for me, but just getting back into the England team would be, be great for me.